the growing mystery on the Gulf Coast. There is a serial killer on the loose after going after dolphins. It's getting a lot of people on edge right now, and ABC's John Schriffen has the story. This morning, investigators along the Gulf Coast are trying to figure out who is responsible for mutilating and killing dolphins after a string of disturbing attacks here. Animals with bullets in them. We have seen animals with their tails cut off. We've seen animals with their jaws cut off. And so it's really heartbreaking to see such senseless uh, Violence. Moby Solange, one of the lead investigators, says recently authorities have found four dolphins either floating in the water or washed up on beaches in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, including one found just days ago. What kind of a person would do this? No normal person would kill senselessly and then mutilate it. I mean, this is kind of uh, something you hear in horror stories. The animals have been brought here to the Institute for Marine Mammal Studies in Gulfport, Mississippi. Investigators hope autopsies will determine how the dolphins died and whether they were tortured first. What makes this even more incomprehensible to scientists is that dolphins pose no threat to us. They love to be rubbed on. This is a nice little belly rub for him. Dolphins are highly intelligent, second only to people, but they are also a very accepting species. They just love human interaction. And that has experts here concerned. They're afraid whoever is responsible for the attacks is taking advantage of those friendly instincts. They're very, very curious animals. And when they come close to boats, you have somebody using them as target practice. And the penalty for killing a dolphin is a fine of up to $100,000 and a maximum one year in jail. But experts say the biggest fear right now, because investigators are still piecing this together, is that there are more dead dolphins out there they just haven't found yet.